In this video, I will show how to add a speed sensor to a hub motor that doesn't have one. First, I'll start by removing the screws and taking out the motor. In this case, it's a Bafang motor, which is well built in terms of quality, and it even has a dedicated space for the sensor on the main PCB. Usually there's a provision, with the white wire of the Juliet connector left free, which can be used for either a speed sensor or a temperature sensor. Now, I'll use a multimeter to check if the pads have the correct power supply according to the pinout of the sensor I'm going to use. This is the positive, 5 volts. This is ground. And this is the output that connects to the white wire. This is the hall sensor. We can use a common on-off hall sensor with a digital output and an input range of 4.5 volts to 6 volts. Once I've verified that the pinout between the PCB and the sensor matches, I proceed with the soldering. But first, I'll fix the flat head of the sensor to the PCB with a drop of glue. Now I measure the hole that will house the magnet. The hole is almost 5 millimeters in diameter. I have this pedal sensor disc with magnets that are just right for my needs. Their size matches perfectly. I clean the blind holes with isopropyl alcohol and prepare a two-part glue suitable for gluing the magnets onto the aluminum cover. I apply some glue into the holes, and once the magnets are in place, I apply pressure to fit them in. I clean off the excess glue and proceed to glue the hall sensor onto the PCB. Now I prepare a Juliet cable, stripping the red, black and white wires.
Now I test everything to make sure it works. I connect the white wire to the positive terminal of the multimeter and the black wire to the negative. Now I connect the lab power supply to test the sensor with 5 volts. Red wire for positive and black wire for negative. Now slowly rotate the cover and check that when the magnet passes over the sensor, the voltage goes from 4.5 volts to zero. Now the motor can be reassembled into the wheel.